In this video, we are going to discuss a mad scientist whose videos have gone viral on TikTok, meaning that his videos have received millions of views and people from all around the world are watching them. What this scientist is doing is picking DNA from various animals, mixing it together and create a new species. Animals with various strange shapes and forms that even Mr. Beast has not reacted to. Wait, is that real? Yeah. The origin of his videos, whether they are real or fake, remains uncertain. He has created a mouse with dog legs and even a deer combined with rat DNA. Also created some other species that are incredibly strange and unnatural. This man also has managed to create a creature similar to Pikachu by mixing the DNA of various animals. Though it's not exactly a Pikachu, but a species very similar to it. You know that scientists conduct research and experiments on animals' DNA to create new species or to potentially revive a species that have gone extinct. However, this individual on TikTok remains mysterious and nobody knows who he is or where he comes from. Today, I've decided to introduce you to some of his work and by the end of the video, we'll discuss it whether it's real or not. Whatever it is, if watching these unnatural animal species intrigues you, be sure to watch the video until the end. In the first video, this guy explains, I just took a bit of my pet baby duck's DNA and mixed it with laboratory mouse DNA. Let's see together what the result was. Alright, for this experiment, he mentions that in the procedure, he combines DNAs and fertilizes them into an egg, and eventually, these creatures hatches from it after a period. After researching all of his videos, I've come to a conclusion that I won't reveal until the end of the video for some reason. If this is indeed true, it's like tampering with the work of nature and God. It's genuinely bizarre. Some of the animals in his videos have shapes and forms that are quiet terrifying. In the next video, he claims to have mixed panda and dog DNAs together, creating a new hybrid he names as Panda Dog. Let's see it for ourselves. By the way, among all the DNA mixtures he's shown, this one is exceptionally cute and you might find yourself wanting one. The next video is quite terrifying as he mixed the DNAs of a deer with a laboratory mouse and there are absolutely no similarities between them, not even one. Let's get into it. It's undeniably strange, isn't it? In the next video, he claims to have created a Pikachu, which is an adorable species of Pokemon. Pikachu's appearance dates back to the 1990s in the Japanese video game Pokemon, which some of you might not have played it due to your age. And the way he creates this Pikachu, what animal's DNA do you think he mixes to achieve this? A squirrel, an orange dog, and for the electric power of the Pikachu, he obtains it from an eel. He mixes the DNA of these three and the result is what you're about to see now.
Also in the last of his videos, he mentions that they leave some of these animals in the jungle, sell some or give some away to his friends. We will discuss the validity of his works later in this video. And now in the next video, he takes his work to another level by obtaining a DNA sample of the Pikachu he created and mixing it with the fish DNA, resulting in what he calls a Pokemon fish. Let's see it together. In the final part of this video, he claims to have mixed the DNA of a leaf with the Pokemon fish. This particular experiment, my friends, sounds really absurd. Based on this part, it appears that these videos could be fake and fabricated. But it's genuinely fascinating and frightening at the same time, making it entertaining to watch these videos. Let's move on to the next one. In this one, he mixes monkey DNA with a laboratory mouse once again. Let's see what comes out of it. Before we reach the end of the video and unveil the most peculiar case, there are two or three more experiments to explore. The next one is quite amusing as he claims to have mixed the DNA of a dog and a pig. Let's see how much of it is true and valid and what has been made out of it. <laughs> that was the moment I researched to determine if it's real or not and I found out that the dog he showed as the result of mixing dog and pig DNA is actually just a poor dog that got stung by a bee and its face is swollen and this dog was a meme on the internet. From this point I've come to understand that this guy appears to find videos and pictures of unusual animals, species that are unfamiliar to most people or specific genetic mutations from the internet. He then combines these elements through advanced video editing. Some of his videos are incredibly nonsensical and appear to be designed to test people's IQ and their gullibility to believe in them. As a result, none of these videos are real, but they are quite entertaining and intriguing to watch. So let's move on to the next one. In this video, he claims to have mixed a rabbit with a kangaroo. Let's see what it looks like. It's really believable. The video edits, the animal shapes. If you were to select a random video of his and show it to some people, they might not detect any flaws and would easily believe it. The next video showcases a mixture of a pigeon and a chicken. Let's see what the result looks like.
I really have no idea where on earth he found these pigeons that appear to be a bizarre mix of pigeon and chicken. Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? And for the last one, the most absurd and unbelievable case that undeniably confirms that this guy is a total scam. In this video, he doesn't mix animals' DNAs together. Instead, he mixes fruit DNA with animals, a watermelon DNA with chicken. How stupid is that? <laughs> so, can you guess what the result of mixing watermelon DNA with chicken DNA is? Let's take a look for ourselves. Wow, can you even imagine it? An egg tree. Although it does seem logical now, essentially every type of tree you could imagine, such as money tree that seems impossible, appears to be possible in this guy's world. All you need to do is the mix of DNA of a watermelon with the DNA of money. Plant it and a money tree grows. <laughs> oh! So don't worry. Take it to the bank. All the problem this world is struggling with, including poverty and hunger, are solved because this guy has found a way. Okay. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know you didn't expect comedy from this episode, but if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and check out my other episodes here and here. And feel free to share your opinions in the comment section. Until the next video, see ya.